A South Korean company has announced the world's first production line for silicon tandem solar cells. This promises an increase in efficiency of between 50 to 75% compared to standard solar panels. This is very much a game changer. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Fantastic to see you. Thank you for tuning in. The commercialization of solar cells that use perovskite follows years of breakthroughs with the mineral, which has been hailed as a miracle material for its potential to transform various industries, including renewable energy. 50 to 75% is an incredible claim. If it's true, this could possibly change everything. Seoul-based Korean company called Q Cells says it's investing 100 million US dollars to roll out next generation solar cell technology, which until now had been limited to lab tests and academic research. It's kind of like theoretical, sounds great, won't really ever work because hang on a minute. No, now it will. This investment will fund a pilot production line at a factory in Korea, which is projected to be operational by late next year. And it's a huge important step in securing technological leadership, said QCell CEO Justin Lee. With the global R&D network spanning from Korea, Germany, and the US, QCells will ramp up its efforts to produce high efficiency advanced tandem cells. This actually does change everything because these solar cells are far more efficient. I mean, miles more efficient than the usual solar cells that people are using today, that everyone is using today. They're enormously different. When I use the phrase game changer, I don't say this very often, but it absolutely is in this case. One thing this is great for, because the world currently relies upon China for the majority of our solar panels, our solar cells. This changes that reliance. That means we don't have to say, oh, China will do whatever you say. Actually, a company that's not in China appears to have a better commercially viable product. Tandem solar cells are able to improve the efficiency of solar panels by splitting the light spectrum and optimizing the harvesting of energy from each section into electricity. The current world record for solar cell efficiency is 32.5%, meaning nearly a third of solar radiation is converted into electrical energy. This was achieved with a perovskite silicon tandem cell in December of 2022. By comparison, traditional solar cells are currently capable of around about 22% efficiency. Going from 22 to 31% is insane, and it's an enormous difference. These materials have gained significant attention in recent years due to their exceptional light absorbing properties and relatively simple and low cost fabrication processes. Perovskite solar cells can achieve higher power conversion efficiencies, making them a promising candidate for the next generation solar cell technology. If this company is telling the truth, and I believe that they are, eventually, this is what the future of the entire solar panel industry will look like. We won't be looking at solar cells at 22% efficiency. We'll be looking at 30% plus. For some context here, silicon solar cells, on the other hand, are the most established and widely used solar cell technology in the world today. They're based on the semiconductor material silicon, which is abundant and has a well-established manufacturing infrastructure. Silicon solar cells have a high efficiency in converting sunlight into electricity, but are limited in their ability to absorb certain wavelengths of light. By combining these two types of solar cells in a tandem configuration, the perovskite layer can absorb a broader range of the solar spectrum, including high energy photons, while the silicon layer can capture the remaining lower energy photons. This allows for better utilization of the solar spectrum and a higher, in fact, a much higher overall efficiency. Essentially, you're adding 50% more energy at no additional cost once these cells are mass manufactured on commercial production lines. The tandem structure allows the perovskite layer to act as a top cell, harvesting the high energy photons, while the silicon layer acts as a bottom cell, capturing the lower energy photons that pass through the top layer. The combination of perovskite and silicon in tandem solar cells offers the potential 
to achieve higher efficiencies, much higher efficiencies than traditional single junction solar cells. Researchers are actively exploring various approaches to optimizing the tandem structure, including developing new materials, improving the interfaces between the two layers, and optimizing the device architecture. However, there are still challenges to overcome in terms of stability, scalability, and long-term performance of perovskite silicon tandem solar cells. So the Korean company Qcells has so far succeeded in developing a tandem perovskite solar cell with a 29.5% efficiency. This was achieved earlier this year in collaboration with German research center Helmholtz Zentrum Berlin. And the results were verified by the US Department of Energy's National Renewable Energy Laboratory. However, the key to all of this, making the magic work, is being able to mass produce these on production lines, commercial production lines. That hasn't been done yet. This will be the first company to do so, but it certainly will not be the last. The future of solar energy is only getting better and better, and the costs continue to come down, or the efficiency continues to go up. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye bye.